Hey, this is Adam Driscoll, and today we are going to be looking at how to do P invoke in PowerShell. So previously with uh, P invoke, you kind of had to like generate the C sharp signatures yourself, and then compile them with add type, and then um, you know call them from PowerShell. But there is a handy module out there that I created that actually uses um, someone else's project, um, and I will show you that. So. Um, here we have .NET slash pinvoke is the repository on GitHub. And what you'll see here is it is a big collection of um, all different uh, APIs for the various DLLs inside Windows. So you can see here they have things for ADV API 32. They have things for like user 32, which is a pretty common one um, and that kind of thing. So if you looked in like user 32, uh, it would have a CS class that defines um, pretty much every single function inside of uh, Windows. So you can see things like desktop, open, enum, proc, all that kind of thing. So um, tons of documentation in here, and you don't actually have to generate the P invoke signatures yourself. It's all done for you here. And because it's a .NET library, you can then bring it into PowerShell. So I have the pinvoke module installed, and what that does is it actually loads up all these pinvoke um, signatures for you. So now you can see that here's user 32, and we were looking at set window POS, which is set windows position. And it just has a static um, method that you can then call from PowerShell. So um, instead of having to go back to pinvoke.net and generate the signatures yourself, you can just uh, use this module to do so. Um, now, uh, the other thing that's been added recently uh, is some helper methods. So, um, you know, it's kind of hard to call this pinvoke method in general. So I've started to add some um, functions around some of these, um, these method calls. And one example is get uh, window and remove window. So what we'll do is we'll actually start a notepad process. So notepad pops up. And one of the properties on a notepad process, is, or on any process, is main window handle. So a handle is kind of just like an ID to a window. So um, this is the window that I'm moving around here, and its ID is this right here. So that's a, a window handle, or it's like a, a pointer. So uh, what we can actually do is do get window uh, hwind. Um, and we can pass in that process main window handle to this. And you can see here, it returns some information about that window. Uh, there's the uh, window handle, the title of that um, window, and then if there was a class name, it would be in there as well. So what we are gonna do is actually, what we can do is actually gracefully close this window. So this would be like um, clicking the X on that window. So I'm calling get window, I'm piping it over to remove window, which will close notepad. And you can see notepad went away there at the bottom. So notepad is no longer there. Um, and that instead of like um, stop process, this doesn't like, uh, you know, just terminate the process. This actually closes the window like you click the X in the window. So it's a little different in that regard. Um, and I'll just show you how that was accomplished. So I actually have my uh, pinvoke module here which is also on GitHub, and let's open that up in code. And now, if you look at the PSM1 file, I'm taking advantage of these uh, pinvoke NuGet uh, DLLs that I brought in. Oops, let's get rid of that. And that. Uh, and you can see here that these are the functions that I defined. Uh, I have get window. It kind of works two different ways. It can search for windows, so you can pass in things like the class name, the title. Um, or a parent window, uh, or you can just pass in the uh, pointer to, or the handle to the window um, itself. And then it's gonna use some of these pinvoke functions. So I'm calling get window text and get window class name to actually get um, the class name and title. Now I realize there is a bug here. These are opposite. Um, and then it's writing it out to the pipeline. Um, and if you pass in a parent, it's going to use that parent window and get all the child windows. And if you um, don't, it's just going to enum all the top level windows that aren't um, don't have parents. Uh, and then remove window just uses another uh, Win32 function here. You can see I'm calling pinvoke user32 uh, post message. 
uh, and we're posting a WM close message to that window saying like, hey, can you close yourself? So this is a lot easier way of using P and both and having to generate all the uh, methods yourself. And I'll probably continue to expand um, this PSM1 file to include additional um, commandlets to make it a little bit easier to invoke uh, P or P invoke from PowerShell. So again, in this video, we looked at how an easier way to do P invoke in PowerShell using the P invoke module, which is available on the PowerShell gallery. And if you like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel.